It's time for Whatever Happened To. Check it out. I think the appropriate place to start on this is double A because that's the one that we hear most often. Oh, God. So I figured the best way to, to, to do this is to sort of, for the newer fans, to sort of explain who double A is because they might not be familiar with him outside of the tapes, how he came to the show, and what he's known for, and why he's, they're not around. I think that's the best way to, to handle this thing. All right. You know him personally a little bit, don't you? I do. All right. <laughs> Why don't Especially you... after we explain where he is. I, I'm not so proud of that statement, but yeah. <laughs> to know him. Why don't you start? <laughs> well, I mean, Double A started, like, did, was his first appearance the um, that dating game? I remember him calling, actually. He would call in. He plugged his pizzeria a couple... Actually, I think the first time he called was... Um, I might be wrong on this, but it was definitely one of his early calls. Uh, when um, Andre was on the dump button and he called in to, to tell them like nothing you said in the last 10 minutes has been heard yeah. like, like that was the first time I remember hearing him because he would um, he would also plug his pizzeria and you know how it would be like I need a good slice and he's like it's on the house if you show up so those are my early memories of double A and then yeah he'd do the, the dating games and things like that yeah so uh, on the show he was a very aggressive perverted womanizer he just was very vulgar and you know um i mean yeah he, he was a womanizer he like spoke to women like shit he'd do these like dating games and just talk about how he wanted to like fuck them and that was basically it you know not not good for much anything else other than like a good life so he was kind of like a perv and uh, it turns out that uh, he's a real perv and um, he got caught with like child pornography on his um, computer. Yeah. So after that, he kind of disappeared a little bit. I don't think that he's like in jail or anything right now, but he is certainly not going to call into the show and address anything like that. And I don't even think that Howard would pick up on him. I don't think that Howard wants to be associated with anybody like that. You know, that's... But that's really it's been i think around 2008 2009 since he's last been on the show but the other thing about him that stands out is he had this really weird unhealthy obsession with beth yeah he was deaf but i mean like so does bobo and yeah so does fucking like king of all blacks you know what i mean like like double a's obsession with Beth was like weird but it certainly wasn't the weirdest part of his character on No the not show. not at all but during the during the years on Sirius that was the, that 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 he had that was pretty much most Is there of what his stuff was about. with Jenna Jameson I'm like really trying to I don't know why her name is coming to mind but possibly I don't I'm not sure I have to look that up But yeah so um uh yeah, so he's he's he did like like Beth did not. makeovers and stuff on him. Like they brought him in for, th I, I one of the things on Sirius they brought him in for they did the Secret Santa thing on the air and they brought him in to be the elf. <laughs> oh my god, so funny. And a large and how and I remember I do recall Howard would a lot of times have him in when Beth was in, so that's why the best thing kind of sticks with me a lot because he was always you know about it when she was there um i think he just ripped his clothes off one time when she was in i, I might be wrong about that um it's been so long and so many appearances but yeah yeah it's been a long time so that's whatever happened to next time i don't know maybe elliot often or someone like that <laughs> so do you know where he's at right now he's just like living and working or what you know well i don't know i mean like i know that his family won the lotto so like i don't think anybody was fucking working but i don't know what happens to your fucking assets when you're charged with being a fucking pedophile creep yeah so i don't know i i believe that high pitches talked to him like maybe once since that happened maybe he saw him somewhere i think yeah, I remember like maybe like 
uh, towards the end of Artie's time and maybe right at the beginning when Artie wasn't on the show anymore. Um, high pitch calling in and saying something well, I mean, about I'm even going to this been since I've been home. I'm right. Saying. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I remember how I put saying, like, I'm going to this with Double A and whoever. And, well, they uh, used to hang out all the time. Yeah. Like, all the time. But then this happened, and High Pitch didn't want to have anything to do with them. But after it came out, I think he spoke to him, like, once after that. I think he saw him somewhere. I don't know. Yeah. Fucking creep. But, yeah, so he does, definitely doesn't call into the show. Maybe he tries, but I, I really don't think that Howard would pick up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he doesn't even try because he knows... Either A, no one would pick up, or B, um, he doesn't want to answer the questions about that. 